Alright. Uh, compression! Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Working Class Music. I'm one of your hosts, Jason. Please let the holidays end already, Maze. And I'm Grease Leeson. <laughs> and on this week's episode, we're checking out the Empress Compressor Mark II. And why it's one of the most versatile compressors you can have on your pedal board. So, what separates the Empress Compressor Mark II from other compressors? Let me show you. Firstly, there's an input-output gain reduction metering over here so you can visually see what's going on. Secondly, an independent attack slash release characteristic control, a parallel compression mix knob, and an external sidechain insert. Hmm. A versatile trio of compression ratios to choose from. You can go from two to one, four to one, or 10 to one. So yeah, there's a couple things. Um, I know we've done a compressor episode before, but this is gonna be another one of why you would need a compressor and typically what they're used for, because I don't want to assume that you already know, but basically it squishes down everything into one frequency. So your loud and soft notes are kind of the same. Yeah, it, it evens out the, the dynamics a little yes, bit. Yes, what Xander said. Yeah, so that's it's kind of interesting because I don't use a compression often because I use distortion almost all the time and it's it, that does the same thing but adds distortion. I've got some ideas for what we're going to do with this and I'm pretty excited. So, uh, yeah. Uh, well, Xander, welcome to the world of clean. Yeah, the clean tone challenge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Onto the sound. Mm. All right, so for this part, uh, it should be noted that I am using a little bit of reverb here. I'm using the Strymon Blue Sky V2 to keep the whole part two thing together. So here's my sound without the compressor so you guys can hear the difference. Another thing that I really like using a compressor for is more like finger picking because uh, me personally, I tend to do a lot of that. So here is a riff without it. And here's a riff with it. to Xander. Kill the reverb. Murder it. Clean tone challenge, let's go. Uh, it, it's not on. It's not on yet. So let's hear how you do it with, that, with so. it off. See why people like these things. Yeah.
Yeah. Cool. Final thoughts. Should... All right. So final thoughts and first impressions. I'm going to give it to Xander for the first impressions. Yeah, no, it sounds really cool. I've always understood what they did and have never had one on my board just because it's not something that I would use often enough. But this is kind of making me have second thoughts about that because for the Scott stuff I was playing, I really liked how it's almost like it does what an overdrive does, but doesn't add the grit. It just brings everything together and makes it come out a little, you know, a little ba balanced, I guess. And that's really useful for a lot of things. I will say that uh, when I was doing the more slow chill stuff, I like my dynamics on that, but I felt like it sweetened the sound when the compressor was on. Mm. So that's just something that I'd have to sit there and tweak the knobs and find the sweet spot where I still can get my dynamics in there, play the quiet parts quietly and the loud parts loudly and still have that nice way that when you barely hit a string on the, on the high, it, it comes out and, and it jumps out at you. That's very cool and very useful. And it's fun to watch the lights dance around while yeah. you play. I kept wanting, I kept getting distracted while I was doing that. <laughs> so I really like it. I don't know if uh, I'm gonna jump right in with the six knob Empress since I'm new to this whole compressor game, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna shop around and play with some toys and see what I like. I could see why I would use that. And there's other, you know, there's always an extra couple inches on the board you can yeah. see. <laughs> Hammer yeah, something. Yeah. Unless you have my board, then there isn't. <laughs> True. All right, your turn, man. All right, so. I've had this for some time. I've been super lazy about reviewing it, but on the other hand, that means I have a thorough review of it. Oh, yeah. One thing I should note while we were playing, I did adjust the knobs, but one thing that I wanted to do just so people can get an understanding, and I hope this is conveyed, is I turned the mix knob quite up. Mm. It was it was turned up quite a bit. So we heard most of the compressed sound. Yeah, so yeah. you could yeah, hear yeah. that. So with that said, I would say this is my favorite compressor ever. Yes, I'm going there. You All can right. quote me, you can, you know, yeah. screenshot this. There you go. But it is. It's been on my board on since I've had it. Yeah. And the one thing that I love about it the most is the input monitoring as far as the gain reduction. You get to see that, so you get to see what it does. And for me, I'm a big visual person, so having that there as an indicator is really cool to me. In Young Mountain, there are some parts where I use the compressor because I finger pick and I alternate between it. Yeah. And um, there are parts where I turn that on because I know for me, playing with a pick and trying to get the same dynamic as, you know. Oh yeah. Because it was just like, oh, I can't get the same dynamic as that part. The sound changes completely if you have yeah. your fingers. Yeah. So it's it's one of those things for me is like, okay, I, I play with my fingers a lot. This is really cool because yeah. for certain parts that I need it to even out, so to speak, yeah. I can do that That's and awesome. make the quieter parts as loud as the louder parts because a perfect song if you will if you look it up and this is a plug i don't care i'm on this channel don't give a <laughs> a perfect example is the young mountain song if you leave during the second verse and even the demo actually a demo is a better example i play finger picking and you can hear what the compression does because it's compressing it's at the same level yeah so and you know that's a little trick that i use yeah so enough self-promotion overall i think this is like probably the best compressor you can get. I think if you're a person who wants a bunch of different options, if you're a person who wants a ton of control over your compression, mm -hmm. because this is a FET style compressor, I believe, could be wrong, correct me in the comments. And the cool thing is you can go into detail with the amount from the side chain um, right there mm -hmm. and then a the ratio. So you can literally control how much you want. I don't know what those words mean. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to know what a compressor does, buy this pedal. It will visually and, audibly, and emotionally and audibly and audibly <laughs> show you what this does. Yeah. So for me, since we're going on sequels, I'm giving this the working class music electric boogaloo stamp of approval. <laughs> so with that said, it's time we close this it out and go to the regular YouTube pandering. So like, subscribe, comment. For this one, I want to go back to a positive comment. Let us know what is your favorite part of the holidays. I have none. I have no holiday joy. So let me know what yours is. This man doesn't even like dinner. No. <laughs> I eat once a day. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment. Make sure if you are interested, Sweetwater has this on their website. Use our affiliate link because that helps us get paid. And if you want me to like dinner, get us paid. <laughs> so there's that. Link equals one dinner for dinner. Yeah. <laughs>
we have Patreon merch. And again, let me know what you enjoy about the holidays. Even if you're watching this video during the summer, I let me know what you like about the holidays. I'm about to open my sweater box in a minute yeah. here. I'm, I'm going about to go and probably just uh, kill all the remaining holiday joy I have and play the Callisto protocol. <laughs> <laughs> all right, laters. Sweet. All right. Serious man scrubbing. Huh? <laughs> I got a lot to deal with down here. It's fucking I've been office posing all day. I need to let loose.